Hey guys, what's happening? So, got this out as a gift for, uh, for from one of my uh, 3D repair customers. So yeah, I fixed her 3D repair, uh, printer, and they uh, had given this to me. Um, they do actually like they do like uh, you know fabrication and stuff. So they have a lot of soldering stations. But yeah, it's a Hacko FX 88D. First time I ever had a Hacko product. Well, besides this. My little Hacko uh, tip cleaner. Sorry for the background noise. I'm printing out some stuff from my uh, toolboxes, but all right. So let's take a look at this thing. So Hacko, I guess is well. I mean, it seems like it's they claim it's one of the best out there. Um, what kind of sucks? I had just bought one of these too. It's like a hot air station, kind of like a combo hot air soldering. Clean up my desk here. But, uh, so I ended up probably keep throwing that out. Oh, cool. Came with the uh, stuff and a little pad. Okay. Definitely a nicer looking uh, station than this one, you know? I mean, obviously it's Hacko. <laughs> Alright. 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 Oh, it's tiny. Wow. That's cool. It's gonna be able to fit on top of here like that. Let's keep it like that. All right. Hacko. It's pretty heavy too. So let's have a really big transformer in there. Um. All right. I should probably turn my light off. That might help. All right. Pretty cool gift. I always wanted a Hacko. All right, let's get this thing fired up, see how it works. I mean, obviously, just a basic soldering iron. Tamper, that's it, on and off, so it's not gonna be a real review, you know? Well, I mean, it's not gonna be like, you know, I mean, what's it really to show on a soldering iron? Yeah, yeah, it heats up, yeah, it doesn't. You know? Yeah, that's an interesting little connector. Reminds me of the old, uh, almost like an AT keyboard connector. So, it looks like there's some kind of advanced features in this thing, but I mean, I'll never be using some kind of password function, but um, I mean, I don't want a device that's so complicated where I can't just figure it out on the fly. You know, I don't want to have to sit there and worry about pressing a million different buttons, so. Oh. Plugged in. I gotta, I gotta hold on. Hold in, maybe? Huh. Oh, power switch. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's pretty fast so far. It's about as fast as that one. That one's pretty fast right there too. Yeah, if you hear those jet planes out there, it's, uh, we're having an air show. I don't know if you can see that, there's the Blue Angels flying by. Alright, so 750. And the max temp on this thing is... I'm probably like 875, let's see. Okay, so you gotta... I, mean, I kind of like this other one better. That one has, has separate buttons for tab I can go up and down. So I do actually kind of like that better on that one. Um, so it looks like you just go like that and then enter again. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see what the max is that I can go up here. Up. Okay, so eight, 800 is tops. So, 890, I'm guessing 899. Uh, enter, let's see, probably almost like this can't go higher than 9. So, 899. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just a soldering iron. Um, 
Yeah, the temperature settings is definitely a little bit more annoying than this being able to go up and down like that. All right, guys, cool. Just a soldering iron. Heck go. I do actually like how small it is, though. I mean, it's, it's tiny. So it's gonna fit. I'm gonna put it right on top of that one right there. There it is. Um, cool, yeah. I think I got a design for the stand for this hot air thing. There's actually like a magnetic thing in there. I know it's not part of the hack, but yeah, just no good place to put it. So I'm thinking, originally it was designed on the side there, but it's really just a headache. So, um, well, I can move it to a different spot of the table here. All right, cool.